asserting previously based on the rule of Article 5, Section 1. I think that you are certainly entitled to know that I'm sorry. We're going to receive Ms. Bush's report, and you will hear who those nominees are. Will we have an opportunity to discuss and look at those two ascertain whether or not they are as served before and whether or not they have turned in their proper forms by the proper time? You will certainly have an opportunity to know who they are. I would suggest that the information about who they are, how long they have served, and so forth, would have been helpful if you would have had those answers. Without having that opportunity to look at those forms? I'd like to hear the report from the committee chairman, please. I'm sorry, sir. The committee chairman is going to make a report. Let's hear that. Will that report be allowed to tell us whether or not they turned in the proper forms and have served? I'm sorry, sir. We did have to move you out of order. Nothing personal. I know that you're trying to work within the rules, and I appreciate it. Let's hear Mr. Wood. This is the report of the nominating committee for the 4th District. Steve Wood,
through our common and shared beliefs, we are trying to, re to elect a Republican in November and not give the Obama administration a de facto third term. And so thank you very much. Um, I know we have some remarks uh, from a representative from uh, our congressman. Is Hunter here? There he is. Uh, we'd, we'd like to give him an opportunity. <clears throat> Thanks, Al, and thank, and thank all of you for uh, participating in this process. Uh, the congressman, as, as all well-laid plans are, uh, when you consider three young kids and spending about a day a week in the Atlanta airport, good plans to go awry. I'm sorry to be here. So I'll be quick. I, I want to point out that TJ in our office, I think everyone's worked with over the years, TJ Moran and, and Hazel Street, our chief of staff, uh, are here today. So he is, he is well represented. Why don't you also say he's serving our country today? And he's also serving our, our country down at the Combat Readiness Training Center. In, in Thank you, General Strike. But to for, for everyone knew, 2010, six years ago, South Mississippi really didn't matter. It was an important election. There's very similar feelings to the feelings we have right now by the concern of our country. Since then, House of Representatives, despite what you see on the liberal media, has done a tremendous amount of work to stop the worst parts of this Obama administration. You go back to Obamacare. You go back to tax and trade. You go back to Dodd-Frank. That was all in the first two years of this administration. Now, what the, what the president has been doing is governing, governing through executive fiat. And that's why this sort of election process, keeping the, the Congress, keep, and getting the White House in safe hands is so important this year. I was very proud of Congressman Plazo two weeks ago when he was the first elected official, state and federal delegation, to get out and say, it's time to unite, Donald Trump's our nominee, let's get behind him, let's take back the White House. So very proud of our boss uh, when he did that. In terms of leadership in South Mississippi, we have some fantastic elected officials. We've got a fantastic group serving on our, our executive committee, representing uh, and, and administrating the state party. And we've got fantastic officials at the national level. Jeannie Lucky, uh, Henry Barber have done a wonderful job making sure Mississippi is, is represented. And we're lucky to have that leadership. And Eugene, from South Mississippi, from Ocean Springs, I uh, represent you every single day, working harder than any other volunteer that I've ever come across in the Republican Party. So thank you for the time to speak. <laughs> Pleasure to work with all of y'all in the Fourth Congressional District. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, <laughs> former Governor Barbara always said, "Never trust a man who doesn't marry above his station." <laughs> so clearly, I have, and having the trust of the governor means a lot to me. Okay, there appearing no more, no more further business. I apparently couldn't pass the English. <laughs> we will entertain the most hardest of the food. Some food. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it.